Hello and welcome to this course, How to Sell. I'm a successful e-commerce entrepreneur. I have 12 years of experience of selling on eBay and other e-commerce platforms. Currently, my businesses sell about $500,000 a year on eBay. It's one of our biggest sales channels. And we sell on eBay all over the world, based in the UK, but we sell on eBay in another 13 countries. My main retail business is called Hello Baby Direct. So why is eBay important? eBay is the second largest e-commerce platform in the world. It's second only to Amazon in terms of its scale. It has over 20 sites internationally and its customers come from 190 countries. It's a full e-commerce platform, so you can both list your products, people can search for them and pay for them on the same platform. With over 15,000 categories, almost anything can be sold on eBay. So whatever kind of e-commerce retail you are, the chances are you can grow your sales through eBay. So what are we going to cover in this course? We're going to start with the basics. Firstly, we're talking about creating a brand for your business. We'll also talk about how to source the right products to sell on eBay and how to find product opportunities. Then we're going to talk about your eBay account. We're going to talk about the different types of eBay account, including business and individual accounts and the selling limits that these accounts have. We'll talk about the different types of fees that eBay charges. We'll also cover how to set up an account and how to monitor your sales through the seller hub. The largest section of this course is selling on eBay. First off, we'll talk about how the eBay best match search works, how you research keywords and how you create optimized listings that attract customers and convert those customers into buyers. We're going to look at the different listing types on eBay, that is auction and fixed price. We're going to discuss how to create listings that convert, product identifiers, for example, barcodes and also item specifics and how these can be used to improve your listing performance. Setting postage is a very important part of selling on eBay. We'll be discussing how to set that both at the product level and also using business policies. And we're going to look at the listing policy that eBay has in place. What kind of products can you sell and what kind of content can you have in the listings? Once you've made a sale, you need to manage your orders. We'll look at the different aspects of this in terms of managing feedback, disputes, returns and answering messages from customers. We'll also look at eBay's performance standards and how they affect your sales. Finally, we'll look at how you grow your sales on eBay. eBay has a promoted listing program, which enables sellers to pay more commission on their sales in order to get placements in the search. Another way of selling more is to expand your business internationally by selling on the 20 plus eBay international sites. eBay shops are a great way to brand your business and they also give you a discount on fees and several other features. Finally, shop owners also have the opportunity to use promotions and markdown sales to promote their items. eBay is a great platform. Unlike some other platforms like Amazon, it doesn't compete with its sellers. I enjoy selling on eBay and I feel sure you will too. This should sell on eBay. eBay has around 300 million users worldwide. It has a massive international reach, with buyers in 190 countries. On its side, e eBay gives the following figures. It is active in 190 countries. It has 183 million active buyers buying from 1.4 billion live listings. The eBay app has been downloaded 530 million times. They're pretty impressive numbers. From the eBay selling preferences, you can choose the eBay worldwide sites you want your products to be available on. So if we click on edit, we can choose from up to 21 different major international marketplaces where your products will be listed. As well as having a massive number of users, eBay is really easy to use. Creating a listing does not require any technical expertise and you effectively outsource the marketing of your products to eBay. The setup costs are also very low. There is no cost to setting up an eBay account and the sales are generally on a commission-based model, meaning that if you don't sell anything, you don't pay. Unlike Amazon, it is possible to promote your brand on eBay. Sellers can brand their storefront and also create branded listings. Here is my eBay store. As you can see, it is branded Hello Baby. It's got a logo, a custom banner, and some information about us as a seller. If we go down and we click on a product, you'll see that we have created a branded HTML template, which has our logo on it, and also information about us as a seller. Each seller will also have a feedback profile where you can also have some more information about yourself as a seller and a logo. And if we click on the eBay name, we have our seller profile page, which again has information about us as a seller. In comparison to Amazon, this is a great amount of promotion of the brand. If you're looking to get extra traffic to your eBay listings, 
other than that which comes through the normal eBay search. You can use the eBay Promoted Listings campaigns. Promoted Listings is a simple system where the seller offers to pay an additional commission to get higher placements for their listings. Here we have a search for Sophie the Giraffe, which is a popular baby toy. And at the top here we have sponsored listings. These sellers, of which that is my business here, have offered to pay an additional commission of normally somewhere between 1 and 5% to get higher placements in the listings. And as you can see, they appear above ordinary listings. So it's a sponsored, the, the promoted listings, and these are the normal listings. This is a great way of getting exposure for new brands. If you're a company that is already selling on other channels, for example, your own website or Amazon, selling on eBay will bring you new customers and help diversify your sales. So for example, if you fall foul of Amazon and you have your account banned, you will not be so entirely dependent on one channel. eBay offers a broader range of selling types than other channels and can be used to sell a broader range of items. Items on eBay can be sold as auction or buy it now. eBay is really the only place where you can sell items at auction online. Auctions are great for things which you want to get rid of quickly or are unique items and you're not sure of what the price is. Buy it now is better for items where the price is known and people want to make a quick purchase. eBay can be used for new or distressed stock. So things like open box returns or damaged items can be easily liquidated on eBay. Finally, with over 15,000 categories, just about anything can be sold on eBay. In summary, eBay is a great place for entrepreneurs to diversify their sales and find new customers. In this video, we will be looking at branding for your online business. So what is a brand? Broadly speaking, a brand is a name for your business. It's also a visual identity of business. Speaking more broadly, it is the entire customer experience. So that's the customer experience when people go and visit your eBay shop or your Amazon shop, or if they interact with you on social media, and also the experience they get when they receive a product from you in the post. Down here you can see some brands that I've developed. This is Hello Baby, which is the brand under which I sell preschool products. Obviously that brand has something about what we're selling it, baby and newness. Perfect Pets is my pet store. Again, this brand immediately tells people something about what is being sold and also has a kind of aspirational nature that pets are perfect. So why do you need a brand? Many marketplace sellers sell under a generic name. They prefer this because it enables them to sell a wide range of products under the same ID. However, it is worth investing in a brand. A brand will help customers to identify your business and it will encourage customer loyalty. Here are some facts about brands. 60% of shoppers actively buy from brands they know. 21% purchase products because they like the brand. A brand can also be a unifying factor across different channels. So if you're selling on eBay and Amazon on your own website, it can be a factor that brings all these different channels together under one umbrella. So let's look at an example of two different brands on eBay. The first one is a generic brand, 247 Shop. As you can tell, they haven't spent a lot of time or money on their logo. They also sell a great range of different products everything from books to electronics to DIY. We click on a listing. They just have a plain text listing which doesn't really bring out the features of the product. Now if we look at a different site, this is the Hello Baby Direct eBay store, which is one of my stores. You can see that we have a bespoke banner. We also have our logo here on the left. It sells really only one type of product, so it's the kind of place that people can go back to if they want to try and find more of the same kind of product. We click on a listing. You can see we've spent time to create a branded experience in the eBay description. So the first store we saw is not the kind of place that people would return back to to find particular types of products. Not very memorable. This one I'd like to think is a much more memorable experience which people would come back to if they were looking to buy the same kind of product again. So some things to think about when developing your brand. If your brand does not connect with your audience, then it will not help you achieve your goals. Good branding means increased awareness, recognition, trust, and ultimately more sales. So when you're developing your brand, you need to ask yourself who your target audience is, what products are you selling, what is your product niche, and what makes you unique. And you should try and reflect that in your brand. Some tips for choosing your brand. 
Make sure that your brand is distinctive. If it is the same as lots of other brands, it is going to be very hard to find. Think of some different alternatives to your brand and then do a Google search and see what turns up. If you cannot find many results for your brand, then that's a good thing. But if hundreds of very similar results turns up, you should go back to the drawing board. Make sure it is easy to spell and to say. If you have a brand that people find difficult to remember or difficult to write down when they're told it, that is not going to help with your word of mouth sales. Make sure that your brand is available across multiple channels. So do a search for a URL and a search for the eBay ID and the Amazon ID and whatever channels you want to sell on. Try and choose something which has a broad range of availability. Do not fall into the trap of choosing a brand which is similar to popular sellers. It'll just be confusing and people will go to the popular sellers instead of you. Including keywords in your brand names will improve your SEO. This is for two reasons. Firstly, it'll associate your brand with keywords related to the products that you're selling. Secondly, when people write a URL, that URL will have the, your keywords in the anchor text and therefore will increase the search engine's perception of your site's relevance to those key terms. Keywords in the brand name will also help customers understand your product range. So if we think back to my examples earlier, I had Perfect Pets, which was pet products, and Hello Baby, which was baby products. Here are some examples of brands which I think are good and bad. Hello Baby, it's short, it's to the point, it has the word baby in it, so it immediately tells customers what the kind of products are, and it'll help with search engine optimization because if people are linking using the phrase Hello Baby to the website, it'll push up the search results for baby. Similarly with Perfect Pets, it, it is a pet store and it has the word pet in the title. Similarly for Elite Home Fitness, Cycle Warehouse, they're easy to say and they tell the customer something about what is being sold. Now moving on to the ones I think are not so good. Enfant Terrible. It sounds cool, but it's hard to say and hard to remember. Perfect Pets. Hard to say and also, you know, how do you spell it? Is it Perfect Pets? Is it Perfect Pets? as in perfect pets, or is it, has it got one R or two R's? It could easily be got wrong. Finally, auctioning for you. Is it a number four? Is it the word for? Is the U, is that Y or U or U? Very easy to get wrong. And every time someone types in the wrong URL or the wrong eBay ID and they find someone else instead of you, it's a lost sale. When developing your visual identity, it is always best to employ a professional designer. This need not be expensive. And there are sites such as Upwork, Fiverr and People Per Hour in the UK where design work can be found very inexpensively. You can get a logo for as little as £50 or dollars. So finally, is an example I've used for creating a brand across multiple channels. See the website is, we couldn't get the word Hello Baby so it had to be Hello Baby Direct. So we've used, we checked to see that Hello Baby Direct was available on multiple channels. So we've got Hello Baby Direct on eBay, Hello Baby direct on Facebook and on Twitter and wasn't available on Pinterest but we also got Hello Baby on Amazon. So we've taken our brand and we've created it across multiple channels and used the same logo on multiple channels to have a consistent brand across the web. So in summary, when developing a brand for your business, take time to develop a compelling brand. Think about your target audience and create a brand which is going to appeal to them. Keep it simple. Don't use a brand which is difficult to say or is in a foreign language or uses numbers that people aren't going to be able to just tell each other. I'd recommend employing a professional designer to do any design work. It is relatively inexpensive and can make a big impression when customers come to your site or your marketplace profile. And finally, use your brand across your marketing channels and your social media to have a unified appearance across the web.